The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. You know, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Hey, Good. Hi, How are you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Vernon Edge. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. Would not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 Nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven four four five one zero four four. Now your hosts, Nico Dehan and Paige Clark. Well, good morning, and I'm Paige Clark, and welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to our more natural, balanced, wild world. And uh, we do this to recover our natural health and regain our rights and our freedoms. And I'm Nico DeHaan. And it's a beautiful morning here in downtown Clearwater. And Nico's got the, the call on that. It's probably a beautiful, cool 55 degrees. That it is. Like Going the up speed in the limit. 70s. Like my age. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> going to be in the 70s uh, today and really nice. And uh, so if you have any questions, you can reach me at page at tfnn.com. And Nico at tfnn.com. And we're taking your phone calls at 877-927-6648. I read an interesting article uh, yesterday uh, having to do with uh, the Thunderbolts project in Electric Universe. And they say for the past six weeks or so, there has been a lot of cosmic interference in the atmosphere so a lot of cosmic rays that are coming in from outer space and from the sun and these are particularly uh, harmful to our respiratory system uh, increase of heart attacks increase of asthma and they say these particles get charged in the atmosphere the mo molecules of water and also the dust and things that go along with it very irritating to us and that may be responsible why people are getting much congestion in the past month or so and i've, I've certainly seen a lot of that and i've had it myself i, I agree i see it in thing. my office for sure so it may not be that we're getting a cold or maybe not getting the flu maybe that we're getting some of these activities i thought it was an interesting article uh it's know. nice when you find something in the news that kind of parallels what you're experiencing. Yeah, that and that was, kind of blew my mind. I says, oh, well, this makes a lot more sense because all the things I've been trying really, what helped me the most was my breathing exercises and going into the sauna. Mm -hmm. The detoxing. The detoxing, yeah. yeah. And I'm really excited because we're hosting right here in St. Pete uh, the conference, the Metabolic Therapeutics Conference, it's happening in St. Pete right here, the 1st through the 4th. It's starting. I think our friend Steven's going to give us a call and kind of, uh, he's down there, give us a little heads up of what he's seeing. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're in the area, you might want to check it out and uh, find out what's going on. And what exactly are they going to be covering? There's, because, there's mounting evidence uh, that the central role of metabolism in the pathophysiology of various disease states has sparked a kind of a renewal of interest in the development of metabolic targeted therapies. Mm -hmm. And the power of ketosis, therapeutic ketosis, is one of many promising treatments that are you know, really being explored by mainstream medicine. It is. It, there's a whole bunch of stuff. You know, I, I was listening to uh, different things over the weekend, and la yesterday I ran across a couple things from uh, Stanford University uh, that are doing exactly the same thing, looking at ketosis and looking how your body reacts to different things in ketosis. And this is really becoming mainstream. So ketosis, I think in the next 10 years, is going to be a huge thing, uh, altering the way we think about fat, altering the way we think about carbohydrates, and altering our whole thinking about what we should be eating, because the last 50 years has been disastrous. And it may actually be, as Nora always says. Yes. The natural human diet. The natural, the natural human diet. So the second annual conference on nutritional ketosis and metabolic therapeutics is going to bring together a range of international experts. Uh, Stephen's all excited. He's seeing all I'm of sure. his, you know, everyone. All of his buddies are there. Yeah. You know, who, who's going to attend this? Our scientists, studio, students, healthcare professionals like uh, physicians, nurses, dietitians, government and military employees. Mm -hmm. Policymakers and anybody with a depth uh, interest in nutrition and improving your metabolic mm -hmm. health. And these are some of the topics they're going to be discussing the metabolic therapeutics for cancer, metabolic disorders, and neurological diseases, yep. how to enhance your metabolism for health, optimizing your exercise performance, and human uh, resilience capabilities. I love that word resilience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, patients, per yeah, patients' perspectives and personal experience utilizing nutritional and metabolic therapeutics. So a lot of people will be sharing their experience. Yeah, and, then, and lessons from dogs and cancer being treated with metabolic therapies. I, I've seen this guy's podcast. Have it's you? fascinating. He's he's taking over land somewhere out west. And they're actually, you know, dogs that are just going to be euthanized or whatever. They mm -hmm. just say, hey, can we have them? And they're rehabilitating. They're putting these dogs on a ketogenic diet. Mm -hmm. And they're returning to health. It's yeah. a beautiful thing. They're natural. Diet. And they teach you how to implement it and much more. So uh, what's really cool, uh, I'm hoping to be able to attend uh, for one day. Uh, Steven's there for the whole thing. Yeah. And, uh, and Robbie, Robbie Bessner, yep. who will be joining us later, is going to kind of touch on some of the subjects we want to hit on. Uh, he's going to call in the second half of the show. Robbie Bessner will be there um, and uh, sharing some information. Yeah. So One of the things, I, you know, I'm reading um, deep in the middle of Nora's book, The Primal Fat Burner, one of the things she mentioned there that I didn't know is that every animal on planet Earth except us is adapted to both fat and carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. We've got Stephen on the phone. Okay, good. Let's grab him. And we're the only ones that are adapted only to fat and not carbohydrates. See? So and there you we go. We can't switch. And it's kind of like that whole vitamin C thing. We're the yeah. ones that don't make it. Hey, uh, Stephen, are you out there? Paige, don't grab me. Just invite me on to talk. <laughs> I don't know. Grabbing is kind of nice sometimes. <laughs> I don't you know. know. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Stephen? Good morning. Good morning. I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Well, we know you're up early because, you know, you're Mr. Fitness and Mr. Organized and you're the super connector. And uh, I'm excited. You know, I'm going to join you down there at the conference some and see you a lot this weekend. But I know you've got the whole bore attendance. So just give us a little highlight of who you've seen, what's going on, and, and you know, what you're excited about most. Yeah, thanks. So um, I'd, I'd always been excited about meeting Dominic Diagostino, and um, he, he kind of opened the event last night at 6 o'clock, and then there was one keynote speaker after, and I thought I would be out of there. Okay, great. I'll, I'll talk to a couple people and take off. Well, went into a time warp because I was so impressed with all the people that I just bumped into, <laughs> and, and there was some Stephen Dippity going on as well. <laughs> Stephen Dippity. People. Yeah. So it turns out that the girl walking the bulletproof booth is from charlotte and i know her from years ago which was crazy cool and i went into the vital the vital of the dry farm wine, wine guys were there oh yes yeah, so all the same product. guys that we met when we were out at the bulletproof conference a lot of the same same folks so then this one woman who works with this um famous doctor in this space she was like well, you should meet dr joe, Mer joe mercola i'm like well my partner robbie Besser does a lot with dr joe and boom, she just turns around, and we bump into Jim McCall, and we had a great conversation with him. Awesome. And then he, he happened to say, I really want to meet this guy over here who has the biggest social media following that there is in the wellness space or something like that. And I'm like, who's he? And he goes, well, he, he does pet ketogenic stuff, and he's doing, you know, he's raised a lot of awareness that animals that used to live to be 18 years old on average are now dying at 11 and 12, and it's for no reason other than they're eating a hard, high-carb diet. 90% sugar in most of the pet foods. Yeah. So I was like, wow. And, and that's and that, that's amazing. Is that the same guy that I was just, I don't know if you were able to hear. Rodney, or... Rodney Habib is the guy's name. So he's not speaking. He was just there. Wow. Well, a lot of these people aren't speaking. They were just there. But I did get a chance to speak at, at length with Dr. Eric Westman. And he's a genius. He's speaking at 9 a.m. this morning. All right. Well, we don't want to make you late, Stephen. And we got to take a break. But listen, what we do want to do is have you on the show. And you and I can talk about uh, what we saw and, and hit the highlights for our listeners, okay? That'd be great. Thanks for calling in, Steve. Take Just care, have man. a great day. Bye-bye. See, See ya. Bye. Right. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648 is the number. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. I hope everybody started the day off right. And by off right, I mean you go to the uh, website here and you get some Primal Edge and try that. And have a shot of our one shot wonder That's in the morning. Right. Eighty nine dollars will bring it right to your door every single month. It's uh, the best way that I know to get started in, during the day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> what is a keto diet, a ketogenic diet? We know. The show's theme is a little bit about this ketogenic and metabolic conference that's happening right in our backyard. Yep. So let's give some of you listeners a little primer. How does it differ? You know, I really don't like those those buckets that we put things in. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, okay, uh, we've got Robbie coming well, on. we're going to save him for the next... Uh, okay, so yeah. Robbie's going to be on, on the next segment. Okay, good. Yeah. That's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of do this little introduction. Yeah, I think this keto diet, now that I'm reading this and I'm really satisfied with what I'm doing, I think the new mantra should be... Low protein, lower carb, high fat. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that you preface that with lower protein. My concern is I think too many people eat way too much protein mm -hmm. or they eat protein that they can't digest. So it becomes a digestive stress for them and creates inflammation in the body. Yeah, and there's a lot of studies going on saying that uh, low protein is good for you. But there are some studies that saying binging on protein every now and then is not bad for you. So there are two camps out there, but I well, think... Well, the binging on the protein a little bit might be a little more like we would naturally do as our ancestors. So. You might go weeks with just eating small nibbles or chewing on the bones or something, yeah. but then you'd, you'd have a you know, where you find an animal that you shared yeah. amongst your tribe. And another interesting fact that I found in Nora's book is that, uh, you know, chimpanzees are closely related to us in a way, way down the tube, of course, way down that family tree, and so are gorillas and monkeys. But gorillas and chimpanzees have a unique system, kind of like cows do. They don't have four stomachs, but what they have is they have these three little sacks that are around their belly, and these little sacks is where they store their keto things. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, this way they can eat a lot of uh, vegetables and things well, like that. Well, gorillas eat mostly fruit. Yeah. So uh, not the keto things. I'm talking about the carbs. They're going in there and they're being uh, fermented. Okay. Yeah. You can, that's confusing. Yeah. Now. It's not right, ketos. So, it's it's yeah, the carbohydrates okay. that go into these little sacks for gorillas and for monkeys where they can actually ferment them. We don't have that. Kind of like a ruminant stomach of a cow. Very similar, only okay. they're much smaller, of course, but they have these sacks in front of their bellies, and that's why their bellies are large. So we're the same, but different. Very different. Yes. yes. Okay. There you go. Okay. And who Just even knows? Who even knows? Like you say, 
I, I don't know that I believe in the whole evolutionary thing from that species. I think that we were a genetic experience, uh, experiment. Well, we don't know what the, the deal is, but uh, the fossil records do say that we are closely related genetically. And that's what I'm right. We have about. some, yeah, we have some yeah. genetic uh, things, but ninety-eight who percent. Yeah, who knows? Who knows who was orchestrating all that? That's a whole other subject. <laughs> well, I mean, who, you know. is there an orchestra? You know, <laughs> right, we right, don't right. even know that. So I mean, but let's talk just a couple highlights because we're gonna. I guess we're gonna bring Robbie on on the third set yeah. because uh, we want to just set the stage and I want to ask him a little bit. But you know. What's cool about the ketogenic diet is the way it helps control a lot of the hormones that are so critical in metabolism. And That's let's right. talk about insulin. And insulin is produced uh, to process the glucose in your bloodstream. And what has happened to us since we've started eating these Franken foods or just these processed foods or these foods that are heavier on the carbohydrate than, than our ancestral diet would have been? It's really created havoc. And, um, One of the reasons is glucose is the easiest molecule for your body to convert and use as energy. So when there's a lot of it, it's going to use it every time. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem we have. We're always eating these carbs and your body is kind of forced into it saying, well, I better get rid of this stuff. Yeah. Because if we're eating, eating more of a fat-laden diet, then our ketones are in there and our body accepts those very easily. And if we need extra fuel, we can tap into those carbohydrates stored right around our muscles. That's so right. It's an important thing to know. So if you lower your intake of carbs, as you'll see with ketogenic diets, and keep in mind, we're not just talking about this for fat loss and weight loss. We're talking about this for general overall metabolic health yeah. and the reversal of chronic diseases such as cancer, heart disease, diabetes. It's working extremely well. And by lowering the intake of carbs, the body is induced into the state known as ketosis. And ketosis is the natural pro process that the body initiates to help us survive when food intake is low. Right. So the end goal of properly maintained keto diet is to force your body into this metabolic state. We don't do this through starvation of calories, but through the starvation of carbohydrates. That's a really key word right there. Yes. We don't necessarily want you to lower calories. It's about lowering your access to the carbs. Yeah, because the carbs convert into glucose. Glucose uh, uh, tells your body, I need some insulin to keep this uh, kind of uh, you know, mainstream, let's say. And, the pancreas uh, gets the word, yeah. hey, I need uh, to produce this insulin, yeah. and it pumps it out, pumps it out, and eventually the cells go, geez, there's a whole bunch of that hormone around. Yeah. I'm just going to ignore it, and, well, and then the, the sugar levels stay high. Insulin also stores fat, too. So, I mean, you it get is your the fat storage. Yeah, so it's the fat storage molecule, so it not only sends your carbohydrates in there, but it, it goes in there with you. Well, that's exactly what you were with just it. saying. <clears throat> that was a really great point. When the insulin is high, the body goes into fat storage mode because... The body is getting the message, I don't need to burn fat. Right. I've got all this free sugar coming at me. Right. I've got these carbs. They're coming in. There's lots of insulin around. Yeah, and it really makes sense because in the old days when we didn't have a lot of carbs, if you're out in the wild, try to find some carbs that are uh, like we eat today. There are none. It's, it's a brand new thing. Mm -hmm. Brand new even in the last 50 years, 150 years, even more so. So you can see the slide. 10,000 years ago, we just started eating these things, and we our health decreased a little bit. But then 150 years ago, we started getting these machines doing it for us. Right. Then 50 years ago, we had all these companies pushing it on us, saying, this is what we need, <laughs> Here, folks. Mom, stop cooking. Here's a TV <clears throat> That's dinner. That's right. You know, big incentive <laughs> there. I always say that. You know, what great incentive. Put the Kellogg's corn flakes and the, and the milk in front of the child. He does everything. You go clean the house so you can relax later on. Makes sense to me. That's well, what I'd be doing. Yeah, exactly. So we got in this mess. So how do you start to get yourself out of this mess? Well, you return to the natural human diet. And what is the natural human diet? The natural human diet is higher in fat, lower in carbs, moderate in protein. So we'll just kind of highlight this, and then we'll get Robbie's intake. Because I think Robbie, you know, he's he could very well have been a speaker at this conference because he's involved in detoxification. Sure. And, and, he's and I think got, most of those people that go to these are able to do exactly that because mm -hmm. they're tuned in. Uh, this particular community that we're in is a very, very knowledgeable community. There's a lot of, you know, drifting off to the sides, but the main core of this thing is going in one direction. I really believe it's going to lead our nation into health. If I agree we with just you. let these, you know, don't let these companies overtake us. Don't listen to the commercials. Turn those things off. Get rid of your TV. It might be even better, except for our show, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to start a keto diet, what does it look like? You know, the definition actually means having a viable diet you know, ready to go so you can plan it and work the plan. Yeah. But what you eat really depends on how fast you want to get into a ketogenic state. And for 
many people, it takes weeks or even months. That's why a lot of people say, oh, I went high fat and I cut my carbs and I felt terrible. Well, yep. their body has not is not adapted to making that fuel change. And one of the things that uh, Nora says in her book is that uh, the people who are really having problems need to really start on bone broths first. Absolutely, because the gut has to be cleaned. Okay, the, gar exactly. the carbs have created a havoc on the gut. Right. And then, even so, then there's the difference of bone broths and meat broths, which is a big thing in the yeah. Western Price community, right. explaining the difference in the amino acid profiles of a bone broth and a meat broth. And the GAPS diet puts people on a on a meat broth and then a bone broth. So it's very okay. interesting little fine distinction. But as we go into what a keto diet looks like, we're going to have um, Robbie Bessner on next section. And we're going to dive into what he expects to see some of the important points are at the ketogenic conference. And we're here to help you stay connected on all this cool stuff. So give us a call, folks, 877-927-6600. If you'd like to talk to Paige, myself, or Robbie coming up next. So stick around. would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-418. 8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com let him know you heard him on tfnn and save up to 100 dollars on a special package just for tfnn listeners act today Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com and here we are at living a primal lifestyle are you ready to get lean and healthy by adapting to a ketogenic diet uh, we've got Robbie Bessner on, and we've got some questions to ask him because Robbie's going to be heading out to the Metabolic Conference, and uh, I'm sure we're going to be able to share some really great pearls from attending that. Robbie, are you out there? Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, good morning, Robbie. Hey. How you doing? Good I'm to see you. Fantastic. Well, you got—I know you got to hit the road because you're heading over here to our neck of the woods. Um, 
I want to just finish my little comment, and then I want to ask you what you see could be why water and detoxification are so important when people are trying to get into a keto state. But just to give, you know, to finish that thought I was starting about, different people will have a, a different time frame of when they become keto adapted. And they've got all kinds of devices now that help you measure the ketones in your blood, yep. and uh, Pampa is recommending that. But ideally, this is kind of, or this is kind of like in a snapshot what it looks like. The more restrictive you are on the carbs, less than 15 grams of carbs a day, the faster you will enter ketosis. Normally, anywhere between 20 to 30 grams of, of net carbs is the recommended for everyday dieting. But the lower you keep your glucose levels, the better the overall results will be. And if you need ideas for food, we know there's now a huge community on ketogenic diets and eating. But I, I want to turn this conversation to what we've been discussing about really gets down to the basics, Robbie. Um, it's about eating, drinking clean water, sweating, removing the toxins, and staying hydrated. And, and one of the pitfalls of a ketogenic diet that people aren't aware of is when they start burning that fat, they're also liberating all those toxins that live there. Right, Robbie? Oh, totally. And, you know, um, we get this almost every day on my side on phone calls, people calling in and saying, you know, I've been doing this diet and I just, you know, always feel sluggish or I feel a little, you know, like yucky, basically yucky. Mm -hmm. And that's because 70% um, of environmental toxins are stored in your fat. And so if you're doing anything to decrease the fat molecule, you're liberating these toxins basically into your bloodstream. Your bloodstream is a closed circuit, eventually circulates up to your brain, and your brain gets disoriented on, uh, you know, on the higher toxic level or toxic load. And the best way to mitigate that is basically drink some pretty good water, and that dilutes down that toxic load while the body is sort of digesting those toxins and, you know, using all its organ strengths, you know, the liver, the kidney, um, pancreas, and so forth. The, the organs that are designed to filter and pull out these toxins, you know, from the from the body. So, yeah, it's it's so true. And you know, the um, Nico knows all about this. But the um, another part of the equation with this ketosis um, diet or application has to do with your activity level. If yeah. you're working out and you're enhancing your activity level, then your body actually fluctuates in and out of ketosis. It sort of cycles. Right. And right. And then. Um, the other thing, and I have to laugh because the day that I met Dr. Joe Mercola at a um, cancer conference that Dr. Lee Cowden was putting on in Orlando, um, he gets on stage and he pulls up his shirt and he shows uh, the audience, there were um, maybe, I don't know, maybe four to five hundred oncologists from all over the world there, and he shows this particular technology that he can actually measure his glucose levels and when he's going in and out of ketosis cycling through the day. I mean, that's how microscopically he wanted to um, to be able to analyze it. Wow. But truth be told, and you guys probably know this because, like you said, Nico, earlier about this whole consciousness of people like us that, you know, are sort of forging the way of dragging other um, through shows like yours, you know, elevating the awareness of these different techniques and how the body works. You don't need all of that technology to understand your body and realize when you're slipping in and out of ketosis. There are clear signs that your body will tell you when you're there. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's, it's very apparent. And, you know, that's a good point. So many people still go, oh, that's a dangerous, that's a dangerous diet and so forth. And I think that um, people need to be clear that this is a different type of ketosis than the medical community is is concerned about that's you know um renal ketosis or whatever when, when it's it has to do with the uh the, the diabetes yeah yeah diabetic ketosis is a different situation we're in a different type of ketosis and yeah, this and is the, safe fat burning and a lot of people in the medical community still linked two together as if it is just one thing right as if it's something that we need to be concerned right. about and quite frankly i believe that this is the diet style that's going to more lead us yeah. out of the chronic disease state. Well, Robbie, this is, one problem is this, that if you go to your doctor and he's not aware of what ketosis actually is in, in the, the modern world or even in our ancient world, aside from the diabetics, that they will say, no, don't go on that diet because it's dangerous. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. Right. It's considered one of those extreme things or like a fad diet per se. But, you know, one of the rudimentary principles behind my own body of work is studying ancestral um, behaviors and uh, or the ideas of our ancestors that were passed on and also looking at the cross currents um, of the different cultures. And if you look at the cultures around the world, the people that live the longest and have the least diseases are using a ketogenic style type diet and they're also doing intermittent, intermittent fasting in right. between. And that combination with a little bit of, of exercise you know, is really the key to longevity. Yeah, and really, what, Robbie, what we're trying to do is we're trying to mimic what went on maybe 20, 30,000 years ago when we were living in the wild, because we know we were much longer in that state, thousands and thousands, maybe millions of years, as opposed to the last maybe four or 5,000. Uh, and if you take in the consideration of the mechanics when the industrial age began and then the information age that we're in now, where the companies, you know, one of the things I always say is that we used to just get our food from us. So there was no go-between. Well, when farming started, there was one go-between, our farmer or maybe rancher. Today, we have food that's produced by one person. You go out, they go and pick shipped the stuff. Shipped over to China shipped to over, be processed. Yeah, shipped someplace else. Then it's processed. Then it's cooked by somebody else. Then it's shipped again <laughs> and maybe across not only state lines but country lines. Oh, and okay. then we get the product and we wonder why uh, we have such a problem with our food. It's not only not nutritious, uh, there's a profit going on at each stage. So sure. in other words, the people are cutting into our value of that uh, food at each stage. Taking a piece of it. Taking the, not only the piece monetarily, but a piece of it nutritionally. You got it. Because it, it, all that radiation uh, and scanning is messing with the food. Well, not only that, just traveling with food oh, is not crazy. a good idea. It freshes the idea. It, yeah. it gets it gets ugly really fast, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Geez, crazy. Yeah, it really does. So, you, you know, know, I was just going to say, I mm -hmm. was thinking about my grandmother that's that's whatever, two, three generations, she came over from Europe, right? Mm -hmm. And my grandmother, her first refrigerator was called a Frigidaire. It didn't even have, wasn't even electric. Right. It just had an, a block ice of blocks. ice. Yep. Mm -hmm. exactly. I had that too. And, um, and then we're dating ourselves here, pal. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't mind. Then, so, so, and she, they didn't have leftovers. I mean, she shopped, she went to the local market every day. She cooked fresh food every day. And you ate what she cooked, and then the next day she did it again, and she did it again. It yeah. wasn't anything like, you know, I always think of that, and I think of the food called a Twinkie, right? Yeah. That has a shelf life of, like, what, 500 years? <laughs> <laughs> Not food. Hey, we got to take a short break. Stay with us, Robbie. Okay. And you stay with us, too. We'll be right back, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. And welcome back to the show. And uh, on the Telestrator here, I've got uh, the Theragoods.com, uh, uh, Thero H2O, which is the countertop unit. Uh, you can buy that now. It's a great price. And also, if you use the code Team LPL for living a primal lifestyle, you get uh, free shipping, and there's, that saves you quite a bit of money, and there's a big special now. So go theragoods.com. And the neat thing about this, if you get the countertop units, you're going to get the free pitcher, pitcher. which is a $75 value, which exactly. you can take to the office. I mean, really, it's great for a lot yeah. of people. And we're going to be starting to ship these out at the end of the month, the last week of the month, and uh, I'm switching to this. You know, everybody knows that I've been on distilled water since 1969. Nothing else has touched my lips except maybe a little single malt scotch or a beer now and then. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, please go to the website, theragoods.com. These people are going to be becoming a sponsor of us, and we're really thrilled because we do believe this is the answer. Very affordable and much, much easier to process than the plastic uh yeah, gonna, we're going to reduce the plastic burden on our, I call it the plastic plague, on our planet and on our people and on our pets and our plants. And, so there uh, you go. of course, we have the inventor here of this whole thing, uh, Robbie Benson. How are you Robbie doing Bessner. Welcome back, Robbie. Yep. So, thank hey, you, you. so, Robbie, I know you're going <clears throat> to this conference, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I hope you don't mind. I just like to brag a little bit and share that, uh, you know, Stephen called in earlier, and he mentioned that, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, Joe Mercola and everybody were there, and and we know that you are a featured speaker yourself at many of these conferences, the detox summits, the cancer so summits, as a as an expert in infrared therapies and detox therapies and water. And um, although I don't think you're speaking at this one, you're, you've got meetings with all these people, but. I want people to know when they go to theragoods.com uh, website that the the sauna. Oh, that's uh, the the sauna 360 personal sauna that you've developed with this infrared stone technology portable easy to move around has some really unique features and we'll do a show on that but many of these people that are attending this conference have stated that it is on stage uh, Joe Mercola included is the technology that has turned his head same thing made him decide this is what he's going to adapt so I don't know I'm bragging a little bit for you but you, you just sh tell me what's why are they saying this? Because these people are all leaders in this ancestral diet, primal diet, ketogenic diet, you know, getting away from inflammatory foods, and they see the power of this, right? Yeah. Well, you know, it's all part of the same general theme that we're, you know, we, and Nico Med said this earlier, in following the sort of the lineage of how, what we call progress, but really this progress, it, it, although so many great discoveries have just been amazing the whole um, epige uh, epi epigenetic um, you know uh, evolution of of the way to look at the world is just amazing to me we're, we're departing from the way that sort of nature had intended us to be when we were walking the earth when we were touching the earth when we were grounded <clears throat> when we were in direct sunlight and we were allowing 
nature to actually constantly be tuning us up. And there's another great doctor I love, Dr. Zach Bush, oh, I love who Zach. talks about mm-hmm. um, our role or our play or our our position in the on the ecosystem of the bacteria and the viruses and you know our, ourselves and how the, there's an interplay. There's actually a relationship between all these things. And we're imbalanced, and that's what's causing, I think, a lot of the health challenges and the the advancements of many of these, you know, horrible diseases and autoimmune um, problems at such young ages these days. The trends are 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 really um, are you know pretty pretty. They turn my head. But the personalities at the um, at the show and the excitement um, over the whole infrared thing is really just the same concept page. It's, it's, we're, what we did as a company and we discovered this because, uh, as you know, my daughter, um, contracted Lyme disease about 17 years ago. And what I was looking to do was try to help her manage the, the toxicity that happens with, um, many microbial related diseases like Lyme or my, fibromyalgia or all that kind of stuff. They give off what's these little microbes that give off what's called a neurotoxin. And then eventually it builds up when you add environmental toxins and the body just goes on toxic overload and that uh, suppresses the immune system. And then, you know, it allows pathogens and diseases to advance. So if we reverse that, um, then obviously we're on the wellness um, path. And what we what I discovered was what I thought was the most efficient way and natural way for the body to, to detox. And it was harnessing the infrared spectrum uh, which we did in various forms, and the sauna has, you know, as Joe got on stage, he went crazy when he saw it because, you know, Dr. Mercola has been always been a big fan of infrared technology, but he didn't see the the um, this portable format. So it's lightweight, it folds up, you don't need space. Um, it's relatively affordable. I mean, it costs less than a thousand dollars. Very and, affordable, I might say. Uh, and I, I was shocked when I saw the price. Because uh, I built a little thing in my shower, which ran me about $600 after you put everything together. And this is very close to that. And plus it's portable. Plus it has uh, the uh, rose granite, which is probably the best conductor on earth. Maybe next to gold. Actually, is it the rose granite uh, we're using, or is it the tourmaline inside the sauna? Well, I use rose granite in some of my top in some of my products, but in the sauna we're using tourmaline. Oh, tourmaline. And that, that when we do a, when we do a show on the sauna, I have to tell you the story about how I found the tourmaline. I love this that story. I use. Oh, it's just it's it's a great story. But but the truth is is that it's a unique um, format. Um, Dr. Uh, Dan Pompa brought to attention that he loves the fact that your head is out. It looks like kind of like something out of an I Love Lucy episode, you know? <laughs> your head's out. I your actually hands have it on the Telestrator right now, so you can actually see somebody sitting in it, not zipped up, but uh, there it is. And this is it, okay. completely enclosed. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Hey, hey, Robbie, the whole cool thing about it, too, is it really goes with uh, Chinese medicine and many of the Asian cultures believe that the head should not get hot. Uh-huh. The rest right. of the body should, but the head, whereas when you sit in a sauna, mm-hmm. you know, a whole enclosed sauna, you're, you're, you're not getting Well, it was one of my complaints about my wife. She doesn't like the sauna because her head and her hair and everything uh, changes because of the heat, and I don't mind it. Uh, but this is definitely a system I'm going to in the future, and uh, just because I want my wife to take advantage of it. Well, the neat thing it. about it is you can both set them up in the living room, and you can watch a whole video if you want to. Yeah. You know, and you're each in your sauna. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what, yeah, my wife and I do the same thing. Do <laughs> really? Well, so great. instead of the two bathtubs, like in those other commercials, we have two saunas. I like it. Right, right, right. I like but, it. But, you know, having your, having your head out, you know, I looked at it a little differently because your brain and your brain cells respond to heat differently than the rest of your body. And when you get your core temperature above 105 degrees, the brain cell starts to break down. Uh-oh. So what, what I was going after was that many chronic ailments, viruses and bacteria can't live above 102 degrees Fahrenheit core core temperature that's when your fever gets up above 102 right so with your head out it could be at room temperature while your body you know i could bring you into hypothermia by raising your core and hitting your body hard yeah which is where you know the many of these these bugs hide in your in your organs and in your you know so i can raise your core without affecting your brain cells so sounds like a wing combination to me 
Yeah, and we're going to go into more detail on this detoxification, Robbie. I know you got to get on the road. I don't want you to miss any of those segments. Thanks for coming on the show again. We'll sure. see you next week. My pleasure. Thank Take care, Robbie. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay, we got one more segment coming up. I'd like to remind you that I've got a brand new Health Signals newsletter with my commentary on it for the first time. So we're going to be doing this uh, every month, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Stick around, folks. The number is 877-927-6648. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com Educating Investors. Join John Logan as he teaches you trading techniques utilizing the TAS Profile Scanner, the Global Market Pulse, next on TFNN. Hi folks, here's 10 reasons why we need to drink water. Well, water is really the substance of life, Nico, and you mm -hmm. really cannot exist without water. We can exist without food, but not water, and we must constantly be adding fresh water to our bodies in order to keep it properly hydrated. Yeah, in fact, we can go for weeks without food. Mm -hmm. but only three, three days, days without, without water. water. Yeah. And number two, the body is actually comprised of water, about 80%, and some organs as high as 92%. Yeah, because there's a lot of tissues that have less water. The average is about 50%, they mm -hmm. say. So that makes sense, <clears throat> and we have to replenish ourselves. And it's really important to get a good water source, and you know we're passionate about that. Um, it, it, it's hard for the body to get hydration from anything other than water. I mean, drinking those sodas is not going to work. Right. As their ancestors always says, you drink from upstream and you go to the bathroom downstream. <laughs> well, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, soft drinks and alcohol don't count, folks, and we need to re-supplement the body with yeah, water yeah. that it can use. Yeah. Water is nature intended. Yeah. And you can use things in water if you want. A lot of people like to put a little lemon in there, a little orange in there, or something like that. Uh, you use a little bit, it, it doesn't hurt. It. But the water really plays a vital 
vital role in every bodily function. That's really the key. Lack of water is the number one trigger of daytime fatigue. A mere 2% drop in water can, can trigger, trigger such things as fuzzy thinking. Yeah. How, many, how often does that happen? And people have trouble with just doing basic math and having thoughts. So, and, you know, when focusing, you're feeling fuzzy, yeah. you might just need some water. Yeah. Number five is uh, water transports and metabolizes. It does. And, uh, you know, that metabolic conference that's going on, they're mm -hmm. going to be talking a lot about the importance of pumping that hydraulic machine, which is the water-run machine, which is our human bodies. Yeah, and this, this is what the uh, gets the digestion and the absorption and all those little chemical reactions that are going on in your stomach and your intestines. This is what gets it going. Exactly. It's essential for proper circulation, too, and the levels of oxygen in our body. And the more oxygen the body has, it's more readily available to... Uh, burn the fat that we, we have and use right. that as an energy source. Yeah, in fact, water is the only thing that really transports fat out of the body. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can see the ketones in your urine, but it also helps uh, th through the, the whole system of elimination. We're talking sweat. We're talking, uh, you know, number one and number two, but mm -hmm. number three is the sweating part. Yeah, removing the toxins. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we, we've learned a lot that the toxins that mm -hmm. we deal with are being stored in our fat tissues. We need that hydration to be something that helps us to... Uh, not just bind, uh, not just burn the fat, but we also need to bind it. And yeah, and there's an interesting body. fact that 30% of Americans, uh, the thirst, me thirst mechanism is so weak that it's often mistaken for hungry. Ah, for there hunger. you go. Many people grab a bagel instead of a bottle. Yeah, <laughs> instead of one glass of water uh, right. shutting down your midnight hunger, you might be taking some orange juice to spike that sugar once again, or you might be snacking, which is probably even worse in the middle of the night, I would think. Always grab that, the, grab the glass of water because hydration is usually a big player, Especially as we in, know. in the wintertime, we got all this artificial heat, and I notice that I get thirsty a lot more in the, in the morning. I'm a lot more thirsty than when the heat's not on. Have you ever read the book, Dr. Batten on the Desk? I did not, uh, you no. know, Your Body's Many Cries for Water? No. Well, he was the Iranian doctor who uh, was the doctor to the Shah of Iran. And oh. when that regime was overthrown, he was actually in prison. So he was taking care of prisoners, medical doctor, and uh, reversed many of the conditions just simply by having them drink more water. Number nine is chronic cellular de dehydration. Consistent failure to drink enough water can lead to this uh, particular uh, heat de dehydration. And that it's, imbalances the pH and that throws the body out of its yeah, own Yes, where the body stasis. cells are never quite hydrated enough and leaves them kind of in a weakened state, and then that makes it vulnerable from... Uh, pathogens. Mm -hmm. And it also is important for our cooling system. You know, we need the water to kind of make sure that we cool things off. We mm -hmm. need it for proper heating things up. And sports drinks are often used when really what we really need is pure, clean water, yeah. maybe a few out electrolytes. And here's a general rule. Due to the fact that everybody is different, the rule of often drinking just eight ounces of water per day can be misleading. We need to drink half our body weight in ounces per day to provide the water with its there minimum amount. There you go. Amount. So hopefully you'll grab a cool glass of crisp, clean water and stay hydrated because it's important. And go theragoods.com, pick up some of the uh, items on there that we talked about today and use that Team LPL free shipping, folks. Team LPL. See you next Great time. Day. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.